Good morning guys, welcome to Butte Mountain Homestead. In the last video, which is actually came out today, but uh, I was, I had pruned the north border. I had talked about the west side the whole time because that was what was in my mind. And I ended up just doing the north border. I've already been out here a couple hours, but I thought I'd better pick up the camera <laughs> before I tackle this because I only have about an hour to go before I'm pooped out. Um, but I've already gotten two cartloads, or this is my second cartload, uh, down to the brush pile. So I came through and I cleaned up these roses. And like I talked about in the last video, I just cut off the weeds. Um, I, I couldn't pull them. What I could pull, which was right around the plants, then I did. And then because I don't have anything planted right here, anymore i think there's one plant that's going to try to come back i'll just leave it see if it will uh, but i ended up taking the drip tubing the emitter drip tubing the brown stuff and i just wrapped it around the roses because when i planted the roses i put smaller emitters on there and i should have upped them this winter and i didn't so this will excuse me take care of that so yep i just cut off any spindly ones and ones that were dead and then just cut them back they're not perfect but they're all they're they're cleaned up i have another little brush pile right there i'm not doing anything to the raspberries unless they're ones that i can tell are completely dead so i'll check them to see if they're wick which is you can take your thumbnail and like scrape it to see if it's wick or not let's see if this one right here You'll have to excuse my shadow. Again, it's in the morning. The sun's up, so. Um, and these are really pokey. So let's see if I can do this without poking myself too bad. Not really. I might have to use a... Let's see. Um, nope, it's green. So that little spot I just cut away right there, it's got some green to it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one. And now I'm covered in stickers. That's awesome. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Okay. So, as you can see, there's lots of new growth coming back. I just need to pull some weeds. So, this won't take me very long at all. This will take me like five minutes. But, yeah. Lots of new growth coming back. So, I think we'll be okay there. And then, I did water that last half last... Or that half last night... So hopefully if there's any weeds in there, I can pull those pretty good. But it gave it a good drink of water too. And then I'm just going to get in here and just shearing off the dead stuff to the ground like we talked about. And I see the forsythia already has some leaves on it, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, um, this will probably take me about an hour if I had to guess. So I really want to work on this. So get it cleaned up a little bit. So I might set you on time lapse. We'll see. Hang tight. Okay. Um, it's too hot to just directly film. So I'm going to set my phone in the shade. Right now I'll be in the shade out there. But um, the sun's still just heading like south. Oh, southeast is still kind of that way. So I'll be in the sun, but I'm going to set you up on time lapse. Uh, it's going pretty, pretty fast. I'm kind of wanting to leave <laughs> a lot of the seed heads. So I am going to rake, but I'm not going to like scrape it. So that stuff kind of reseeds itself. That's the whole purpose of that garden is it's beautiful. Well, not right now, but um, because it reseeds itself. So I'm going to show you the forsythia real quick. And a couple things that still have some green on them. And then I'm going to bring you back. And um, I mean I showed you the raspberries. But then I'm going to bring you back. Set you up on time lapse. And then get after that. And hopefully do the drip. Before I have to go in. There's a little bit of breeze. So it's not too bad. So let me do this real quick. Okay this is the forsythia. So it's got lots of green on it. So I'm okay with that. Uh, some of the African daisies have green. I mean, there's not much. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's not weeds. So there's a couple hollyhocks that have made it. 
the irises I'm going to go ahead and just prune those back while I'm in here and then uh, there's a drip setting right there so I can tie into that maybe right there and just come over and I'm just going to do a sprinkler head that'll kind of run over into here so or I might just spaghetti line you know the just the drip oh drip tube but with no like drip line I'm just going to run it over and maybe do some sprinkler heads off of that or we'll we'll see what I feel like doing <laughs> so uh yeah so I'm going to go ahead and set you back up I don't think there's much more green other than the obvious stuff I'm just trying to see signs of life that are actual plants there's there's some African daisy right there so I'll leave the little stuff. This Rudbeckia is wanting to regrow back down there. So that'll, even though that's got green on it, I'm just going to take it all the way back. And let's see. Yeah, there's not much in here. So it'll be pretty easy. Pretty easy. I don't know if I'm going to get this done. I might get this half done tonight. And work on that drip. And then um, I might actually come off of here. That seems to be better. That'll be a straight shot. I can just put a tea coupler in right there and then shoot it straight out to there and put some fan emitters and that'll get all of that in there. Even if I have to do an elbow, you know. So we'll see, see what I feel like doing. But it's just the raking it up. The, you know, the just grabbing handfuls is fine, but then you're left with this stuff. So, and then what I'll do is I'll just bring in because I'm not getting compost right now is I'll just bring in a couple bag of a soil amendment and just use it as mulch and just put it right on top and call it good so everything if it wants to bounce through it will but all right guys I'm gonna get you set up on time lapse I am wearing shorts <laughs> and my my knees are all grayed out from the kneeling pad so I'm working outside in very hot weather, so no judging, okay? <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, hopefully you were able to get decipher some of that. Uh, I had to see what the timers were set up like. And I did some modifications. And then now that these are exposed, I can see what they're doing. So, oh, he smokes. And I don't see... It's barely coming out at all. Huh. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah. See that emitter right there? Right there? Nothing's even coming out of that. And hardly anything out of that one. So. I mean, they do have a long ways to run. They have to run all the way over there, too. Up to... Um, just before the magnolia, but that's not that far, really. So I'm going to turn that one on, and I'm going to see if there's any water coming out of this. Yeah, there's water coming out of that. Okay. And there's water coming out of there. There's water coming out of the the drips so yep should have tested it in the spring when I said I was going to so I'm going to turn that one on and then 
maybe turn it up a little bit and maybe put the extra sprinkler out here too so and then my phone's already getting hot in this just two minutes I've had it on so I'm going to do that really quick I'm going to take that load down to the brush pile and I'm going to be done till this evening or Wednesday because Tuesday I work so I'm supposed to work on Wednesday outside the house but I'm not so Jean and I have some appointments to do anyways so hang tight okay I turned the fans up and they're still and I turned the water pressure up and there's still not that much pressure so what I think I'm gonna have to do I don't want to but I think I'm going to I'm gonna have to divide this line and then do one part manually kind of like I do the tomatoes and I do the cottage garden and then the other tomato bed out there where I just turn the valve and then I run it manually I don't want to buy an extra timer but I might end up doing that so what I would do let me get in the shade here is the roses and all of this business which then I could tie into over there and I would be okay because it would just be this and then I think the raspberries are on this too yeah they are because the raspberries come off of here so the it would be the raspberries and this and this and then I need to somehow not sure how yet is I could run a second line so I could cut that off you know cut because there's a uh, let me show you see right here oops shadow see this is what supplies this garden is I could run a second line so just make that one and then elbow this and just run a second line up to there I I don't really want to do that but I might have to because there's no way to cut off that main thing and tie into this one without adding a second line so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to add a second line that runs up to there and then I'll just get a third timer that way I don't have to worry about it and then this bed or this line will water this whole bed um, and possibly if anything I want to plant out there because I had capped that off the fetinia are on something different so it would be just watering this bed. I really like that idea. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that idea. So that's what I will do. And in the meantime, I will just have to be really diligent about getting supplement water to it because it's not enough right now. So I'm going to do that right now. And while I take this stuff down to the brush pile, guys. So I will hopefully be back tonight. Because that only took me technically 20 minutes, I would say. So tonight, that won't take me but 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes. So, and if I get the hankering and I have enough line. Because that's all the line I have for right now. Is, uh, and I think I have the parts to do the cutoff. And I don't have a timer right now that has three spots. So what I may have to do is just do a splitter. And that splitter end will end eventually go into the timer anyways. But um, And then just do the valves and manually water until I get a, a three-way timer. So, all right, guys. It is getting hot. Well, it's been hot, but it's getting past hot. And my phone, I, I can't hardly touch my phone. <laughs> so, alrighty, I will be back tonight. So stay tuned. Hi guys, it's now evening. 
I have switched this over. I haven't um, staked it down, but I wanted to see what the water pressure was just from hooking it up by itself before I did anything else. So looks like the water pressure is way better than it was earlier in the day. So I'm still going to finish um, by tying into that line right there and going up to there. But I just wanted to see what the water pressure was before I did all that. So what I did was I took the took that off. I had to put two couplers in, what you see here. And I always keep spare little pieces like this. It was a little bit longer. But I always keep pieces like that. And then I just made that a straight run now. And then I can I left it long enough to where I can actually pry these out. I won't save these, but I'll save the tea post or the tea coupler. And then I will, oh, I'll probably just stick that down and then cover it with mulch. What I should have did was cut it a little bit longer, but it's okay. It's no big deal. So now I just wanted to see what it looked like. And it is just on a valve system. It's not on a timer. So I'll have to just make sure and be mindful and run it every day. But it is definitely stronger than it was this morning when it was on the whole system. So I'm excited about that. <sighs> yeah, I ran the sprinkler. Oh, probably a good half hour. At least half hour to 45 minutes. And I just wanted to see what this looked like before I... Well, what happened was, and I'll show you, this does look a little wonky, but I'll just cover it with wood chips. It's no big deal. There is a little bit of a leak, so I'll make sure to fix that. What I need to do is just attach some plumber's tape under there, which I have some in my kit, so that's fine. But now I need to shorten all this business to attach to there. I just wanted to make sure everything else was running before I did that. So I'm gonna get some plumber's tape on that to tighten it up so that I'm not watering nothing. And then I'll probably have to add some couplers, but that's okay, it's no big deal. I have more couplers than I do line. I wanna save the line for that um, part that I need to fix. So I'm gonna shut this off and then I'll get that plumber's tape on and then I'll get these shortened and then get that reattached. So hang tight. Okay, it is the next morning. I worked literally until dark. So I, I didn't have time to film it and do all that stuff and get it done. I seriously was out clipping all that like a mad woman, hooking up the drip line. As you can see, it's not done. It is hooked up just so that um, just so it was done and today when I get home from work I can mess with it that's not how it's going to stay but yeah there I filled the waste you know container and it is really rough so I hope everything bounces back I really do um, I need to do a little bit more on the irises <laughs> like I said I was trying to pull the weeds and do all the clipping and just making sure I get everything. I got the hollyhocks. I'm going to not be in the rocks here, but I got the, this is what the ground looks like. I left some of the rudbeckia just because they might come back. Some of them, they just came right up. So I kind of left them like this one. And then there's some African daisies. I just left to those. Yeah, there's a rudbeckia. And let's see. Yeah, there's a hollyhock that I trimmed down to the ground. Here's the gara. And there's a hollyhock. That's the black one. And then there's a lamb's ear. I just pulled up all the dead stuff. I didn't make it to there yet. That'll probably be this weekend. Or, let me see, yeah, Friday. So I'll do it on Friday, or I can do it in the evenings, but we'll see. I just want to get this finished. So I just tied into the end there 
and then that piece will go over and then this piece will come out and I'll just have fan emitters on it and then this is a slope so it should run down but oh goodness it just looks so haggard when it was so beautiful just oh, there's a little garden sink this scared the crud out of me <laughs> they are everywhere this year but uh yeah just a couple months ago this was so beautiful <sighs> it will be again it will be again so yeah and then i need to get this all taken care of oh and <laughs> I ended up not needing the plumber's tape or, you know, whatever it is. I just needed to tighten it, which was fine. So I did that. Um, I need to make like a little junction box or something around there. I need to do it anyways to hide the unit because that gets full sun and they just don't last very long. So I might... Once the greenhouse stuff is all done, there's lots of scrap lumber, as I might make like a little box... To set there and that'll cover the water that's why we couldn't concrete this in is because the water source for our lawn sprinkler system that we don't use <laughs> is right there we don't use it because the well got so low when it was bringing up a lot of sediment so and it wasn't shutting off so until we know that that's all going i just use a good old-fashioned sprinkler but Anyways, guys, yeah, I think I feel a lot better, a lot better, a lot better. Sorry, there's a bee, there's some sort of hornet or wasp or something buzzing me yesterday. I got stung, but I just need to mow. I used that sedge killer spray, what was that, like a week ago, and it's still... Oh, there it is. And it still hasn't died, so I think I'm going to mow and then spray on it when it's fresh. Maybe that'll kill it. I don't know. But I haven't been able to mow because the grass was dying from the lack of water. And once I got that kind of caught up, it's it's going back in. It still looks really dry, but I'm trying to fill it back in. But And then once I realize that the water pressure has enough then I will finish the line over there for the magnolia that rose bush and then that little section right there because that's where it ends it ends at the lavender and this is all I have to hand water that so anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up it's not pretty but <laughs> It's it's showing you real life and stuff that happens and you just kind of fix it anyways. It's not going to fix itself. So isn't that the truth? That's kind of like anything in life. So anyways, remember to uh, always be kind. Do what makes you happy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and do all that good stuff. All right, guys. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.